Today, I'm gonna to be doing some much needed maintenance on my Pontiac Tempest. I still have it. I know a few people were asking where the car went. I drive this thing every single day and the poor thing gets abused. It never really receives a whole lot of maintenance. It's super reliable. And because of that, I feel like some things have gone on for a bit too long and I really, really need to address them. So had a full free day today and uh, the Tempest is gonna get some love in. Um, we moved the charger and the Slayer outside and I get the lift all to myself today. So that'll make it pretty nice. Um, but I'm gonna kind of like walk you through all the issues the Tempest has been having and some things that I've been just really wanting to fix on it. So coming into the engine bay, so one of the biggest issues that I need to tackle today is my steering. So recently I noticed that as I'm turning my wheel, um, the steering like makes a popping sound and then as I re-straighten it out it makes another sound. So there's something going on there and um, Danny had suggested the best way to diagnose this would be to separate the actual steering shaft from the box and turn the wheel and see if it still makes that noise. So that's definitely what I'm going to do there. And, you know, if it's still making the noise, then I might wind up pulling the column out to further figure that out. But I don't even want to think about that because that sounds like a nightmare. So we're just going to be optimistic and say it'll it'll work itself out. <laughs> but um, the next issue is that I've been noticing um, that the uh, tie rod joints, I don't know what the proper term is, those joints there though are also making a popping sound. And I've had that exact issue before, maybe like three or four months ago. and. The way I handled that was I just greased them up again and then it stopped doing that. So I know roughly what I need to do underneath the car. And then coming over here, this is just like inexcusable. So ever since we put the car together, I've never made myself a proper battery hold down. And honestly, that's just me being so lazy. And I think this is the fourth zip tie hold down I've made um, in the last year. So every few months or every month I'd say, I would like, this thing would break and I'd have to remake another zip tie hold down. And every time I told myself I was going to spend the next day making one, I never did. So here we are and that has to get addressed. So initially I was thinking of like, welding like some type of plate here to the battery tray coming up on both sides and then another plate across and you know something with like a nut to hold it down but um you know i was talking it over with danny and he said there might be an easier way so you don't have to pull out the welder he said to utilize this like threaded um piece here on the actual battery tray and then to kind of rig up another point in between here you can't really see because i don't have the flashlight but another rod coming up here and then to do the hold down this way and that way there'd be no welding required so i think that's a better idea and that's how i'm going to do my battery hold down but i will need to make a run to the auto parts store so i'll do that a little later and then coming around to the back of the car this is a new issue. So my bumper has never been aligned and it was always bad, but it was never this bad. So I don't know when this happened, but it was only recently that I noticed that this got so much worse and it looks like it's being pinched in the center there more than it used to be. So my bumper is literally falling off and that's when you know it's time to maintenance your car. So yeah, you can see, like I said, it, it was never aligned properly, but this is, this is just horrible. So I'm going to go in here and 
get that realigned and tightened up. But those are kind of the biggest concerns I have. And then, you know, hopefully the steering column doesn't have to come out because I really don't want to lay under there, but so be it. And then once those issues are addressed, I'm going to um, put the car back up in the air and do a complete nut and bolt check on the whole thing because it's about time that, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of parts on this car and it's just best to go through, make sure nothing's loose. So that'll be the last thing I do is kind of do the nut and bolt check. And then finally give it a good cleaning for the car show and the car's set. So I don't even know what I'm gonna tackle first, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. So working on your car can be pretty annoying, but what's even more annoying is when you have to film yourself working on your car. So I just spent the last 10 minutes, I couldn't set up the camera to show what I'm doing. It's just so hard. So I had to pull Danny away from his paperwork and now he's gonna be cameraman. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Shouldn't take long, right? No. So what are you doing? I'm just uh, disconnecting the steering from the box here. Mm -hmm. Cause like you suggested, I wanna like isolate this, uh, the sound, you know? Yeah. Is it on reverse? Yep. Okay, that's all on the floor. So is that. Do you want me to turn the steering wheel? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna grab the, these pieces on the ground. Hopefully it turns it. Yeah, it should. I mean, I could go up on the car. Just tell me when it's uh. Oh, yeah. In its right spot. That's good. Right there? Uh, a little bit more. There. Ouch. There. Right there? Yep, thank you. Come on, come on. Doesn't want to come out. You see how it's getting binded up? Like, see, see how the bolt is kind of angled up right now? Yeah. It's because it's getting pinched, so maybe your steering angle is a little bit off here. Mm-hmm. So pull it out, so I'm just saying, like, that's a, a little clue there. Yeah. Possibly. I, there we go. Okay, so that's... Let's see, so if we slide this back. You want me to grab the hammer? Um, a pry bar, possibly. Okay. Where's our little one? This one will be fine. Okay. So just kind of pry in between there and separate it. to the right just a touch right there hold it yep okay come over here is it gonna move it's okay just come over here okay Let's see well what do you notice i'll let you i don't want to interfere with your diagnosing here so i'll, <laughs> I'll let you back to it okay so in pulling this off um i mean right away you know, the bolt was getting bound up and um, this is much higher than this is. So the whole um, steering shaft has to come down. And then Danny was pointing out here. I mean, this is just where it naturally wants to be as it's pulled away from the box. And I mean, you can see right here it's just off. So it basically it's forcing it um, over this way, whereas the whole shaft just needs to be pivoted over um, so that way it would line up properly. So I have some work to do. 
underneath the dash now. Um, I'm gonna have to work to adjust the column so that way ultimately the shaft is lined up properly. So let's see how much of that I can film. So I'm gonna try lowering this for now. what's going on let's see is this on reverse okay don't want this to fall on me either so I'm just doing this slow bring you guys in here. So we got some uh, room to move this thing. So let's see if we move it, we have to bring the column over this way in order to bring the shaft over that way. So let's see if we can uh, see that gap there. Just slid it over, and then we're gonna go confirm up front. It's looking better. This thing still has to come down some so maybe that means if I loosen it it's going to raise it so right now it's just loose yeah okay I know what I'm doing <laughs> not basically force this over Maybe a little bit more. So if I'm pushing it that way, this probably needs to be loose. And then, let's see. Don't like that. This is not the right tool. This is why I love ratchets. <clears throat> okay, that took a lot of jumping around from the interior over to the engine bay and back and forth but I think I finally have it aligned. Um, the bolts freely went in, um, you know, it lined up with the actual pegs. So if that doesn't fix it, I don't know, but we're gonna test it right now. I'm gonna fire this thing up and see as I'm moving the steering wheel, if it's still making that clunking. So hang tight. Okay, hope it worked. Okay, I'm turning the wheel. So far, nothing. Oh, I hear my suspension popping, but I don't feel it any more than the steering. Oh, oh, nope, that's just the suspension. Oh my gosh. Yay! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yay! 
Yes! Okay. Steering is fixed and now can move on to the suspension. Okay, let's get this suspension fully greased up. Okay, that is greased on the front. Now we gotta do the back. Okay, Danny just handed me some pliers here so I can get this grease gun on the back of this. This is so annoying. It's like the worst spot. Like no matter which way you turn it, it doesn't want to, uh, like it, there's not enough room to get this thing straight on. Okay, so I just forced it. <laughs> Let's see. That should be enough on this side, but now we have to do this side, which actually this position's probably fine right here. And I know you're probably like, why don't you lift the car up higher? But Actually, I like it when it's a little low for me because I'm a little shorty. So, so we'll go like that. Hmm. So it's all the way this way. If I move it there, I might be able to get it on, but. Let's see. Come on. Hey, babe, can I have a hand? Yeah. Okay, this is the best possible position for this like link to be in, but I can't get this thing on it because it's like just like touch too long. Like it won't pop on. So I'll show you, I've been going like Oh, now it's going to make a mess, but... The wheel won't turn anymore? No. No. So it was... For example, if you put it on there... What if you turn the wheel this way and then... I tried, wheel? and also that motor mount is preventing that. Because this doesn't go, like, line up there. It, like, kind of ends, like, here. Oh. This, this part. And then, so, so It's on. You got it? Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm gonna clean these up. Thank you. Clean all this crap up. Dang it, you got me all dirty. <laughs> all right, I just finished greasing all the suspension underneath the Tempest. And, uh, you know, last time I had this issue with the suspension making noise, I had to drive the car a handful of times before the popping really went away. And that was just because the grease needed to like disperse. So I don't expect this to, you know, fix it on the first drive, but you know, I really greased them up. I went through everything um, underneath the car. So feel good about it. Uh, next thing, I might actually bring the car back down and start trying to figure out that um, battery hold down. And then at the very end, we'll do the bumper and the final nut and bolt check. I changed my mind because I'm all over the place today. And uh, I'm actually gonna do the bumper first and then um, I'll figure out the battery tray after. So that way, when I figure out what parts I need, we can take it on a little test drive to the parts store. So. Let's uh, open this door a bit so we can get some better lighting back here and then uh, see what we can do about that because uh, it's not looking good. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so this is how I do it. Um, if it's been a while since I've worked on something like this, I 
forget what size everything is and I just grab everything from the toolbox and I'll just start going to town. One of these days I'm gonna get better at eyeballing it, but for now, this is how we roll. So, actually, I wonder ooh, if I can assume these are all the same size, which they might be. This is pretty easy. Five eighths. Okay. Yes, first try. Okay, I'm calling in support from the top dog. <laughs> okay, I want to align it a little better. Where, on the ends? Yeah, on the ends. And then this is being pinched slightly. So I'm basically just trying to, I, I was identifying where all the bolts were and there's the two right here, there's one over here, and then there's one underneath. Well, it appears this car has been seriously injured. I know. Rear so that's ended. why I'm like, and I, I was looking underneath it and I'm like, dang, it actually is pretty bent. So I'm like, is that even? You could see there's a dent here and yeah. some dents here that somebody tried to pop out from the other side. Or did you hit that? I didn't hit nothing. Okay. Um, so it looks like it's kind of tacoed a little bit yeah. inward. So you can try to push up all you want, but as long as this gap here is like closed. Mm-hmm then those ed ends can't go up unless we take the bumper off completely and try to bend it out. And oh. then hopefully that will like suck in the top. You know what I mean? Cause you can't go up. It's already like up as much as it can go. All right. Although what you could probably do to cheat it a little bit is if you tilted the bumper out, rolled it out a little bit, which would, and then roll this end up yeah. here which would make that gap look a little bit less but it's not going to do anything for this gap here Damn. it's just going to make this gap a little bit worse it'll come out this way well we just need to find another bumper for it or take this one off and mm -hmm. give it a little beating maybe what we could do is like put it in between two trees tie a strap to the center of it and like pull on it from the middle <laughs> Oh yeah, can be done. No, I'm not doubting it. I'm just imagining that. We'll take it to the ranch and get the tractor out. So what, do I pull off my bumper and ride around with no bumper? I mean, how bad do you want it to be straight? This gap is like unacceptable. So it's either I find one for really cheap and replace it or... Uh-huh. Oh. Such a bummer. Yeah, because look, like, if you look down the line here, you can see that. Yeah, there, there's that's just pushed in in the center, and it needs to be pulled out. I guess I hadn't really looked at it that closely. I never, I'm never really looking at the back of it. But how does it look going down the road? Do I look super janky? Um, or is like, it not that noticeable? Just looks like you got rear-ended. <laughs> Damn it. Um, also, just to clarify, that was the previous owner. That old lady did a number on this car. <laughs> so we ended up deciding that we're going to try and straighten it right now to the best of our abilities. Um, worst case, if this doesn't work, I'm going to buy a new one if I can find one. But I really would like to straighten this one out and use it since this came with my car. So we're gonna give it a go. So got all of that nasty hardware out. The only thing holding it up are the two in the center. So I'm gonna get Danny over here because <laughs> I don't wanna drop this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Okay, bumper. Okay, bring it out here for now. 
is off. Set it down right here. Tacoed. All right, just jump on it. We'll jump on it right at the same time. Look, you jump on it right there, and I'll jump on it right here. Yeah. Oh, we got matching shoes. Oh. <laughs> Okay, wait. I don't know if that's a good idea. No, it's actually not, but I have another idea. What's all this? What the heck is all this stuff? No, it's been a lot of dirt on this Somebody car. Somebody sprayed some undercoating right there. Mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing. Damn. Okay, well, I guess we got to figure out how to straighten this out. We don't have the tractor here, but we have some other things that we might be able to use here in the shop. We have a lift that's capable of lifting up, so we can do something with that. We also have a cherry picker, so we may be able to do something with that. We just gotta get creative. So we got a idea here. We'll see if this works. <clears throat> okay. It might work. Yeah, that may not be wide enough. Let's see. Can we move it to the right? Maybe. Maybe. Let's give it a shot, and then if it doesn't work, can you put this pin yep. in? <clears throat> if it doesn't work, then we might have to do something else with a... Uh, get a little bit more creative. Strap this up here. Like this. Same thing on this side. Can you hold that chain there? Yeah. I need this end. Mm -hmm. Oh, we might have to take your license plate off though. Mm. You don't want to take it off? Well, Thank we you. have to. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna take it off there so there's no plate. Um, but it might bend this piece because this chain has oh. to go around here. Unless we leave this up and we put, we, Okay. Okay, go up. Hold on. Let me get these viewers in here good. Have you ever done this before? No. No, I haven't. This is Danny's idea. This is a man's idea. Okay. <laughs> okay. Send it. Something's happening. Go ahead. I'm scared. It feels like so much resistance. Does it feel like more than an engine? Like you're lifting up an engine? Yeah. It does? Let me feel it. Oof. Oh, it's bending. Oh, shit. Something's Oh, it is. Yeah, bending. yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, maybe... A little bit more? No, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. But I don't know if it's gonna go back to where, <gasps> see, it kind of went back to where it was Are at. Are you huh? sure? It looks a little better. Well, we can always put it up to the car and then see if it's actually yeah. better. I mean, there, I'm sure we could probably measure it somehow so that way we know how much it's actually You wanna get that measuring improving. tape from? We can measure from the ground to yeah, the center of it. Yeah, ground to like. Center of it. Mm -hmm. Here, let me do that. You stand back. I'm I don't want you getting hurt. I'm like so worried. I'll right get now. hurt. You stand back. <laughs> Go in the parts room. Oh. Is it moving? Ooh, that seemed like it bent. Yeah. Okay, let's take a little measurement there. It's about three and almost three quarter. <laughs> almost three and three quarter. Ready. Yep. Hang on. Run. <sighs> oh my god. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. That should do the trick. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say you want a taco for dinner? Shoot. Oh yeah, that's that's the one. I think it popped back into its place. <laughs> yeah, it's that pop was like. It's 
it's back to original now. <laughs> okay. Here, wait, let me take that thing. I'm so anxious now. Let's see. Well, that was it. I don't want to bend it any more than that, so. <laughs> Pop back in the socket, you know? <laughs> I hope that's what that sound was. Like... All right, come on out of there. Okay. You filthy all, animal. All tightened down. <laughs> I think that looks oh a my gosh, lot better. That is so much better. The gap is definitely a lot better across the top. Wow, yeah. especially like right here. Yeah, we also pulled in this side of the bumper inward too. So let me see this side. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Yeah, so like this, it's a little bit bent there at the bottom still, but it's just a little bit twisted. I don't know if we can do anything about that. That's all right. No, this is night and day for what this bumper was and the way it was on there when we started this. That, that is like big difference. Yeah, big oh difference. Oh my gosh. Now I can like not be so embarrassed when I go to the grocery store, or like the car show. Yeah. Holy heck. Okay, that was quite a job and that took a while. I don't even, what time is it? I don't know, like six. So that was like a two hour job. So, well, at least even, we were able to fix it. Yeah, I just don't know now if the parts store is open to do the last thing I wanted to do. O'Reilly Auto Parts? Oh, yeah, they, they should be open. Yeah? They'll, they'll have it. Okay. Okay. Another you got stuff one. all over your face. No. Yeah, right there. Really? Oh. Yeah. It's okay. It means I was working, so. Let's see those hands. This is after cleaning them once. <laughs> okay, I just brought a uh, change of clothes today to work because I knew I was going to be getting really dirty here. And uh, the last thing I want to do is sit in my dirty clothes in my beautiful interior. <laughs> so we're changed, we're as clean as we can get right now, but we're going to head to O'Reilly Auto Parts and pick up what I need for the battery hold down. And then when we get back, we'll install it. But right now I'm excited to test out the car and see if it's making any of those noises or if we actually corrected everything. Okay, here we go. A little test drive to O'Reilly Auto Parts. Okay, you can still hear the suspension, but so far, no clunking or popping from the steering, which is fantastic. Okay. So the only time I actually hear that suspension popping is when I'm like on the brakes or crawling slow through a parking lot. So like right here, let's see. Hmm. I don't hear it and I usually would right now. Well, I'm gonna keep cruising here and uh, see what happens, but so far, I'm liking it. No, no pop and no clunking. Nice. Okay. So I just made it to O'Reilly Auto Parts. And before I go in there and do a little shopping, I um, wanted to give you guys a quick update. So um, the suspension did do the same popping sound that it usually does as soon as I pulled into this spot right here. So, you know, I did mention that it is gonna take a little while to, for the grease to work itself in. So I don't expect that to be fixed in just one short drive. Um, so. We'll see how that goes over the next week or so. But the steering issue is completely resolved. It is not making that horrible clunking, popping sound that it usually does. And that's a win for me. So big step there. And uh, I know this video seems kind of like 
I guess silly and these fixes aren't that big in the grand scheme. But um, something that Danny taught me is that there's just a really big difference between, you know, having a running driving car and having a car that's so finely tuned. There's a huge difference. And um, for me, this car, it might look like junk and the bumper might have been falling off. But I swear this car is usually like, it's like super quiet. You don't hear things rattling. It's just, it's just a well-oiled machine. So um, it takes a lot of work, a ton of work to have a car super fine tuned. So, you know, and today I did all the work myself. Danny stepped in a couple times to help me out. But man, it's, uh, it's so rewarding to know that you built a car and not only that, you have it so dialed in to where, you know, if somebody was riding passenger with me, I bet you they'd say the same thing. Like this is just a smooth ride. The car runs great. So I'm just so happy that even though these were really small fixes that I got to do them today and check them off my list, but we're not done yet because I still have to do the battery hold down and the final nut and bolt check. So let's uh, head into O'Reilly and do a little shopping. O'Reilly. My favorite place. Let's see what's going on. Well, thank you so much, O'Reilly Auto Parts. It's already sundown, so I gotta get back to the shop, but this is what I picked up. I got this like universal crossbar hold down. It says it fits a group 24. And then I have this uh, quarter inch, um, I don't know, like threaded rod, typical hold down bolts. Um, even though the tray is not a quarter inch, we're going to make it work. And then we got a bunch of thread lockers. So we are going to get on out of here and finish that job. All right, there is the battery hold down. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to do this because that wasn't even that hard to install. But that's just how it goes with these cars. You know, you say you're going to get to it. You never do. Well, I am so glad that I spent the whole day today, because as you can see, it's pretty dark. <laughs> I spent the whole day working on this thing, and uh, I know it could have taken Danny probably like two hours, but it doesn't matter. It was really rewarding to do it myself. I really wanted to get in there and problem solve, and I learned a bunch of stuff in the process, so that was really fun. Um, everything works, like I said. It got the steering issue fixed. Suspension is working itself out with the grease. The bumper is straight and on there, <laughs> and I got a hold down, and I also did a nut and bolt check. Everything's good. Nothing came loose. So I'm really happy with it. Um, it's, it's running good. This is truly my daily driver. And I'm so glad I had a full day today to maintenance it because it really needed it. So next, um, I'm gonna give this a wash and detailing and have it ready for the car show. But that's gonna do it for this week's video. And uh, we will see you guys next time.